Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I'm actually going to try to start off with some good things. Happy New Year. We're going to start off with um, what you may be attracting good this year, positive things that might be um, happening for you this year as we move into 2024 there are some things that might be a little negative that might want to come through and if it's an important message i'll allow it to come through i don't practice my readings before i film or anything i kind of just let spirit talk through me as soon as i hit the camera on Father figure, authority, structure, dominating male. We got the emperor card here. So right now, this year might be a more structured year for you. If you spent last year trying to figure out um, what you wanted to do or what you didn't want to do, this year might be, hmm, might be a lot easier for you. I'm saying you gained a lot of experience and you're going to have a lot of discipline this year and focus. Also, I'm seeing you taking back your power. Some of you guys could have dealt with things like, huh, standing up for yourself or, you know, just not allowing people to use you. So I'm th seeing you coming into more of your authority and your authority being respected this year. You know, a lot of people, nobody is going to try to little bro you this year. <laughs> they cannot, they're not going to try to little dog you now. You're becoming the big dog now. Finding balance. We got finding balance here. Management, adaptability, making a choice. Hmm, yeah, so you're going to be finding balance. I'm seeing a lot of you guys are finding balance in a lot of different areas in life. It could be even just enough balance between work and rest, balance between your masculine and your feminine energy, and the realization that a lot of people carry both of those traits when to be, you know, feminine, when to be masculine, you know, certain things. And it's funny because I was seeing a, a viral video about <laughs> men wanting feminine woman. And then, you know, the girl was like, well, what do you consider a masculine woman? He really couldn't answer the question. I don't know. <laughs> it was interesting to me because, you know, I'm like, you know, different people want different things. But like defining masculine versus feminine you know even saying that he wanted a feminine and fit woman i immediately thought well you know fitness is kind of a masculine trait technically and it's okay if a feminine woman has a masculine trait like fitness you know and then even down to women saying that they want a masculine man but also wanting him well groomed like when i think of grooming and stuff that could be kind of a a feminine trait not that everybody don't wash and stuff but when it gets into you know the plucking the manscaping <laughs> and all of that even getting their nails their feet done you know you would think of that as kind of femininity we all have to find balance in our masculine and feminine traits and i'm also was thinking about my my co-worker Maybe I shouldn't mention that. I'm going to skip over that. <laughs> I'm not gonna, well, some guys find the feminine side, like, to handle the duties. Like, you know, they want their, their, their version of femininity is someone who they could give the money to, and then they sort the money out, and they take care of all the responsibilities, and that being masculine to them is the ability to play and the ability to be, you know, childlike. That's what they think the position of a man is. You're going to be finding balance between all of those and exploring those ideals that or you could have explored those ideals in the past i'm gonna take my gum out because that's a bit rude yeah, i threw my gum out y'all now let me 
get another card. So balancing of masculine, feminine traits and what those mean towards you to you. Ambition, direction, willpower, control, success, self-discipline, focus, determination. A lot of you guys are going to be more focused this year. I'm seeing some of you guys could have been exploring different assets of what you may or may not want to do. I'm seeing you're going to have you kind of figured it out this year and you're going to naturally be able to put that into direction. Some of you guys could have had a lot of ambition and you didn't necessarily know how to structure it here. But now when we got the emperor, we're seeing, you know, structure being added to your creativity and the energy you had. Some of you guys could have had like multiple ideas of this way, that way, or someone might be coming in to help you structure your energies. I'm saying for some people here, I don't know why I got a flash of some people gaining a partner that's going to help them put together a plan for them and this could be a, a some people this is going to be an intimate partner other people this might be a business partner but there's like you know someone here or that or finding that authority within yourself to kind of structure yourself once added structure comes in then that's when you'll be great i mean you know that's when you'll hit the your goals on the target not that a lot of you guys weren't successful. I'm seeing a lot of people are successful. Here. Oh, and see, well, what else we got? Recovery from financial loss, forgiveness, triumph, overcoming adversity, positive changes. It's like I asked for positive cards. I was like, let's start off with the positive. And you see the deck is kind of listening. It's giving me positive cards. <laughs> That's the trippiest thing about terror and the tarot cards. Like once you put a certain energy into it, it like, you know, it kind of bounced back to you, even though it's up for you the reader to, um, what is that, interpret it, but, you know, forgiveness, triumph, overcoming adversity, and positive changes here. If any of you guys were in debt, I'm just saying this future of all your bills, you, this could be now, you could have ended the new year with all your bills on auto pay, and, <laughs> and now you're going to be getting even more. Some of you guys, if you're looking to get money from a lawsuit, that could also be coming in this year. As you know, financial loss or anything that made you lose money might have been a good investment. You might see that coming back around your way. And the emotional vulnerability and maturity, broken dreams. Some of you guys might be giving up comparing yourself to other people if you ever had problems with envy you know or just like why do they have this and i don't you know and you know you're going to be thankful for being you in your overall you-ness this year i'm saying you know you're going to also be able to have honest emotional conversations with yourself. You're going to be practicing emotional vulnerability with yourself in a good way. I'm also seeing you look at things. Hmm. Some of you guys might also be more, it, when you practice emotional vulnerability to yourself and you're able to accept and express your own emotions to yourself, you're going to have a better time or easier time expressing emotions to other people, even anger. You know, it's not going to be so overly built and coming out like you, you, <laughs> you're going to be like, you know, OK, that made me upset. And, you know, once you can accept that this made you upset, you're going to be able to come to that person swiftly. Some of you guys, you just, you're not even going to have to go in. It's just going to be a face. Like you're going to be able to wear your emotions proudly, where some of you guys may have had trouble wearing your emotions proudly before. Some people here may have felt like they had to be one way or another, you know, depending upon how you grew up. Okay, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 
Yeah, so emotional expression. What else we got? Breakthrough, new goals, new direction, move, moving forward, taking action and passion. Some of you guys, like I'm seeing here, even with the back to the um, page of cups here in reverse, like a lot of you guys are going to appreciate you and your overall you -ness. Some of you guys may have felt different at some point, and that's going to also open up more gates for you. So breakthrough, new goals, new directions. Spirit, give me more. There's also some energy. I don't know if I'm ready to tap into that energy or if I just want to keep doing the positive reading. But then again, you know, I like a mixture. <laughs> Keep things balanced. But there. Kindness, wisdom, innovation, diplomatic, trust, forgiveness, nurtures, creative endeavors. Some of you guys are going to find hmm, the kindness that you're looking for. If you struggled in relationships and maybe even attracted people who weren't so so nice towards you. Some of you guys could have dealt with a lot of people trying to manipulate you to see what they could get out of you. Like some of you guys could have like an angelic vibe to you. You might be becoming balanced in that. I'm hearing the word dark empath. Like, you know, you have and carry those empathetic traits, but you're not allowing people to use you. You're not allowing people to chew your ear off with their problems anymore. You're not um allowing people to manipulate you i'm also getting energy here of somebody somebody may have tried to manipulate you or get into your head at some point and now it's like that energy flipped on them like some of you guys might have been re practicing return to senders i could feel like a tightness around this person's heart chakra because you are so sweet. They also gain empathy for you in a way where they wonder how many people have tried to do that to you. Like how many people have tried to break you down? Like how many people have tried to just, I'm feeling even like tear, certain remorse, like how many people have done you that way to the point where it made you some of them are using the term kind of crazy, like, you know, and I'm like, you know, I'm kind of crazy too. And a lot of it does come from people trying to get in your head and get into my head <laughs> and, and then, you know, flip it, spin it and reverse it. You know, this person doesn't want to be that to you. I'm saying this person kind of wants to come back and practice kindness and patience towards you. Like, you know, they might be holding back because they feel like it's inappropriate, but, you know, they can feel your energy and they're not satisfied with themselves. It could be two people here that aren't really satisfied with themselves and the way that they treated you. It's up to you if you want to let them back in, but I'm hearing it might not be. A lot of us, I feel like, who are in this... Um, spiritual community or you know we might be a little otherworldly our protection came especially in the year last year ended on one two three one two three i was seeing one two three all year before the year ended and two three four all year before the year ended like that so a lot of divine protection and intervention might have came in towards it to protect us so they might steer these people off of our paths and give us something more like and then a lot of the sadness and the the cravings you feel is really their energy you know they really want you but you know you taught them a valuable lesson i don't know for what it's worth yeah because we're seeing here somebody who feels like they were self-absorbed and you know and they're kind of dependent on other people and what they think and when it comes down to it, that person doesn't want to be this way. This person kind of wants to be more like you. This person now wants to be nurturing. They want to be, um, you know, because this is the queen of pentacles, homebody, homemaker. Yeah, but I'm just getting that type of energy. A lot of people are addicted to you and your energy. 
when it comes down to it, almost knock my way. Yeah, I'm also feeling like a lot of people trying to take digs at you and your soul and whatnot. It kind of also made you bulletproof. Like I'm hearing that song, I'm bulletproof, got nothing to lose. I entertain um, who who made that song? Was that Magic Dragons and Sia? I think it's called Bulletproof. Yeah. You know, so when it comes down to it, it's like, you know, some of you guys used to get really hurt. Like, you know, like, dang, why would they even try me like that in the first place? Like, why do manipulative people like that exist in the world? Like, why even like down to just dealing with negging and like on dates and stuff and people just being after what they want and willing to harm you for it, you know, used to really get under your skin. Now it's just like, you're just an undeveloped person and you move on from them like that's not going to work and you know you're undeveloped and if you have to do this to get what you want it's like you must not get enough like <laughs> you must you must be uh operating in lack energy when you guys operate in abundance you know you guys think about it you don't have to manipulate people because a lot of people are willing to give towards you or the universe gives to you that or you have the strength to work hard for it <laughs> you know or you have the patience to go without if you don't have it. So a lot of you guys are gaining a tremendous amount of success here. And just people wanting to have it. Yeah, somebody has a lot of guilt here. They're inner critic. This person could have not been so talk so kindly on themselves even when you were around this is the type of person that would make a mistake like oh i'm an idiot oh i'm the worst you know so be keep it like that you know they gave you <laughs> only a tiny bit of how they treat themselves like they treated you only a speck of how they treat their, their selves where they might have tried to slightly put you down they really put themselves down here. And this person is dealing with some self-hate and, you know, inner critic. You might also have another person here, inability to face the facts and feeling down. Like, you know, this person wants, wants you back in their lives. This energy could even be platonic for some people, but they don't want to apologize. They don't even want to face that they did it. They don't want to admit that they did it but they still crave your energy. Like this person, if you have anything like, you know, YouTube, Facebook, or if they got you on social media, they definitely watch you a lot. This person even fantasizes about you. You might even see them in your dreams and whatnot when it comes down to it. And then there's just a, 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 an intense energy of somebody feeling like you didn't deserve the treatment that they treated you like, you know? I'm hearing like a lot of things they put on you is really how they feel about themselves. I remember I had an ex tell me that when I broke up with him and you know, and whatnot. I was, I'm like, he was like overly hypercritical. I'm like, it's every little freaking thing. I'm like, I really can't do this. I can't, like, you know, I'm walking away. Like, this is like ridiculous. I'm like, you do, you complain just to complain. And then he's crying and, and he's like, realize the things I say to you is really how I feel about myself and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I didn't get back with him. He actually ended up dying, you know, but. <laughs> you know but at the end of the day he, he even admitted to trying to get me to focus on myself so that I would see his flaws less I'm like you know I'm like a lot of that is very hurtful people dragging you through that and you know and not caring you're also learning like these people don't care about my feelings why should I care about theirs why should I care why they do things and how they do things here? As long as they keep their space from you, you can, you are remaining emotionally detached. Intuitive, subconscious, feminine energy, inner voice, spirituality, secrets, wisdom.
So we got the High Priestess card here. Yeah, intuitive, subconscious, the High Priestess here. So some of you guys are upping your spiritual gifts and your inner voice is becoming clearer. You could have had a lot of other voices trying to be your inner voice and that could have made things a lot foggier for you. And the name of that song is um, Titanium by David Guetta. <laughs> I was like, who was that? Magic Dragons? <laughs> I don't even remember who, who the Magic Dragons were, but I just thought that was funny. I had to look it up when I paused. But you know, I am Titanium. And you're also, let's say, yeah, inner voice, spirituality, secrets, wisdom. Some of you guys can even be discovering some secrets here. But I'm just saying, yeah, and feminine energy. I was just talking about that too, strengthening some of your feminine energy, which could go along with your creativity. Because I'm sure you guys know in the spiritual world, being feminine might be something different than what people are talking about in the dating world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, spiritual femininity. Hmm. Yeah, it could be very nurturing, but it's also creativity. Creativity, beauty, all that. transitioning, letting go of hatred, moving on, leaving behind, relief, journey. Some of you guys are, are you're forgiving, but you're, or you're letting go, but you're not letting these people back in. And that's the best part here. Some people here might be trying to convince themselves that you're not over it. You know, they're like, I want you to let things go. <laughs> but, you know, you did let them go, you know, you're just not willing to entertain them again. It's funny. I had someone else I was dating try to come back to me and, and talking about some, I hope you would uh, let this go. I didn't respond to them, but I'm like, I've been let this go. Like, I haven't thought about you. I don't talk about you. I'm like, you know, I just, but letting it go isn't going to make me more interested in you. I just, you know, the same thing. You're like, I just don't have that interest. It's it's gone. Like, you know, I take you back, but the feeling's dead. Like, you know, I already forgot everything you said. That's another song I'm hearing. What What is that? I think that song is called I Already Forgot Everything You Said. He's like, I'll take you back, but the feeling's dead. And I already forgot everything you said because I honestly don't even remember what he's apologizing for. I'm like, I don't remember what, arguing with you. <laughs> he's like, I treated you badly. I'm like, I really don't remember, nigga. I'm, a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'll let that go. I was going to make sure I see the artist. I already forgot. Yeah, that song is by The Dig. I already forgot everything you said. Transition, letting it go. At this point, I think I'm going to pull some angel numbers and close out the reading. I feel like that was a good, sweet, concise reading. These tarot cards really flowed with me. It's, you know, a few people wanting back in your energy. Somebody here to... It's... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling like two to three to four different people who like are feeling remorseful over you. Believe it or not, you, these people might not ever admit it, like, you know, but and one of them, like I said, they just can't really face their emotions. But the other few people, they don't like themselves for the way they treated you. Like, believe it or not, there's like a couple of them or at least one of them that might even be crying over it. And this might be affecting just, just how they go on. Some of them you could have cursed out back or finally went off on. And that's another thing that kind of affects them is, you know, you told them about their selves that, or, you know, I don't know. Some of it's, it's murky energy here. 
inheritance, family, security, affluence. You're also attracting a lot of money this year. But that person that could have even been your family that you had to cut off and that might be crying over you when it comes down to it, especially if you just pass the holidays without talking to anybody. Well, let me pull my angel numbers and <laughs> let's get it. Let's go. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this pile. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for this pile. And I'm just feeling like, you know, because I keep trying to close this energy out, but it's just strong masculine versus feminine energy too. And recognizing toxic masculinity versus toxic femininity too. When it comes down to it, I would guess like toxic femininity could sometimes be playing the victim. Toxic masculinity is thinking that a woman needs to feel less than or feeling like you need to dominate every woman you see like oh you're not you know and make her prove your femininity to make that person prove their femininity to you when we're walking outside and trying to protect ourselves in the streets we're all operating in our masculine energy just for safety reasons here we're on guard here so thinking that this person should be nice to you even when you mistreat them. That hair thinking, yeah, masculinity is, hey, get me this over there. That's not what masculinity is, you know. You know, <laughs> you you should be able to, you know, you can bring that out in your woman in ways that you guys discuss. But trying to bring femininity out of random women is not okay. Let's just make that clear here. No, Nobody on the streets owe you feminine. And same thing with men and masculinity too, with women. You know, you know, I wouldn't expect the guy, oh, you expect men to do this, do that? No, I don't expect men to do anything or to bring masculinity out of a man on the street. I don't expect the man to open the door for me or ask me to carry my groceries, especially a stranger. I would expect the guy, I'm, if we were dating <laughs> and I'm like, and the bag was heavy, I would probably just automatically hand him the bag as I carry my keys and go there for um, go and open the door myself. No, I do not expect a strange man. Hey, those look heavy. You want me to carry those groceries for you into your house? I would look at him like, no, like, you know, cause you gotta, <laughs> like, why would I want you to carry my groceries as a stranger up into my place? There's somebody I did tell no who did want to help me with that. And, you know, he looked all too, <laughs> too disappointed. Like, you're not letting women aren't letting women, men be men. No, I let him, my man be a man to me, but I'm not letting no random man practice masculinity on me. Practice masculinity on the women you're dating and the women you love, you know, same thing with femininity. And too toxic mass not every woman has to perform her femininity for you <laughs> six eight five and then not being disappointed when your act of masculinity isn't you know rewarded with praise here similar thing. Like I said, I wouldn't practice femininity on random guy. Hey, this is heavy. Can you pick this up for me? I practice that femininity on, you know, guys who I'm dating. Not, you know, you can't treat every woman you meet or every man you meet in the streets like they're a person you're dating. So that's why I felt like a lot of... <laughs> A lot of that, you know, discussion is stuck in my head because I'm like, that person is probably expecting random people. The 685 angel number means you can focus your mind on creating positive changes towards a more balanced life through manifestation. Trust that you have the inner strength and tenacity to endure and overcome any and all obstacles that may present in your life. Yes, I told you, you're titanium. You got, you got it. 
You got this here. And the angel number was 685. Feel free to look up that angel number yourself or however it may resonate. That could be someone's address, phone number. And if you like this reading and if you got this far, please like, comment, subscribe, help your girl grow. I really love doing this and I'm enjoying this either way. So I will see you next time. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.